Since the dawn of swords, people have enjoyed playing with swords. Medieval knights, for example, frequently engaged in sword play and employed a simple methodology to determine a winner. One of the combatants would die and the not dead swordsman would be declared victorious. The system of dead, not dead has enjoyed widespread use among swordsmen. It is simple, it is reliable. It cannot, however, be played multiple times. Enter David Lynch, a humble, hardworking computer engineer from Austin, Texas. What's that you've got there, David? This is the latest prototype of Sabertron, the world's first foam sword with electronic scoring. The Sabertron, finally, a device that, unlike a video game, gets you off the couch and turns you into a totally legit ninja and or pirate. With Sabertron, the action is truly active. Inspired to bring the interactivity of a video game into the real world, David forged the first Sabertron prototype in his garage. Five years later, the swords are looking sharp. David? Sabertron uses the same sensors and wireless communications technology as found in an ordinary smartphone differentiating successful blocks from successful hits. You see, an accelerometer in- That's fascinating, David. So, hits to the swords don't decrement health. Once a player lands enough hits to the body of the other player, we have a winner. Sabertron allows you to imagine yourself as any swordsman or swordswoman you can think of, and lets you keep score of your victories while you do it. And what's more, there's no pain in this game. Whereas a regular sword would be doing quite a number on our friend Joe here, the Sabertron doesn't bruise or blister. With five modes of gameplay, Sabertron is fun for all ages. This is so much fun! It sure is, Timmy. But not until you back Sabertron on Kickstarter. And this is only the beginning. When you back Sabertronic technology, you'll be backing a future filled with exciting new interactive games. On behalf of the Sabertron team, thank you for your support.